All right, now grab it. Go in there. And just cut a hole in the uh... Oh, yeah. Cut And just cut a hole in the wall behind you. So now you can cut a hole in the wall. Yeah, that was why we got this. Because before it sucks, bro. That just shoots the little fucking chains and shit. But now we can shoot these crates open. You can open a hole in that vent. I think you have to hold it down. I don't know how you hold it down. Toggle to cutting mode. Oh, press right or left on the D-pad. Yeah, 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 right. There you go. That's what you want. I think it's better in the second game. I think the second game one is fucking like this. This is better now, but it oh. fucking sucks to begin with. Oh. It's alright. I only did a bit of damage. Um, yeah, charge it up. Go to the wall behind you. Oh, okay. Just charge the uh no no no. Go to the wall on your right. Cause you need to charge it to open this. Yeah. No, I'll charge all the way. All the way up. Yeah, there you go. Alright, then go to your left and then just shoot that. Yeah, this vent. You gotta get in that vent on your right. Wow. You can even see it's got a nice little outline for you. Yeah, you gotta finish it. And there you go, you got a good laser. Nice little laser. There's a ladder on your left, you could shoot these. Oh, I think whatever one you get on. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I'd give it my best shot. When Kathy and I got to the comedy works, I looked around the room at, to see what I was up against. There was like 20 or 30 people there maybe, which fuck, that was a ton. But I'd uh, never been nervous in my entire life. I was pacing, oh yeah, I've never been so nervous in my entire life. I was pacing, sweating, cursing, and you only needed to get past the first set if I wanted to, if I wanted any chance at this, lots of people talk about wanting to be a comic, but then they let this very moment stop them because they're scared. I couldn't let that be me. When they called my name, I got up on stage, took a deep breath and said, what's up you bad motherfuckers? And I couldn't tell you what I said exactly. I don't, it doesn't really matter because all I remember is hearing laughs from coming from everywhere in the room. These people were laughing at my jokes, getting off stage, I was even more sure that this was what I wanted to do with my life. All that nervousness had turned into pure fucking joy. After my set, the club owner, a guy named Ed Nichols, and a bunch of other comics came up to me. That was great, Ed said. Your stage presence is fucking brilliant. What? Was that really your first time doing stand-up? Yeah, it was, yeah, I said, in disbelief at how well it had gone. My head was buzzing. I was filled with adrenaline, I could barely think, but to t I'll tell you the truth, it was better than any drug, any rush I had had in my entire crazy ass life. I, I knew right away that when I was on stage, I was home. You're gonna come back, right? He asked. 
Fuck yeah, I'll be back. A guy named Bill Burr who had seen who had seen my set that night called and asked me if I wanted to do five minutes at the comedy show at in Dem- at, uh, at the Denver Broncos training facility. High on the experience, I said yes. I I did some of the same material I used at the comedy works. It killed again. Whatever it was, after the show, I got to spend some time with the other comics, and it was like hanging out with Jesus' fucking disciples. It was hang- like hanging out with fucking Jesus' disciples. Now I really had the bug. In the middle of all of this was when Kathy left. The day I helped her pack her car, I was thanking God she simplified this whole thing. I could have never. I should have. Oh. I should have been sad, I knew that. I, I should have look, looked at myself and been like, what the fuck do I make this, what, uh, what the fuck did I do to make this woman leave? But I didn't, uh, but I didn't, uh, I didn't care. I was fully, I wasn't fully shocked either. She also wasn't happy. Everything had been slowly catching up to her. My drug use, the lies, the fucking kidnapping. I imagine that the day she felt she finally left me. Oh, um, well, you got to stand on the counterweight, so whatever. Yeah, just don't stand on on the. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing you just go around. Can you go more to the left? Yeah. Can you go up here? Oh, there you go. You shoot this side. Uh, look down behind you. There's the vent just there. Yeah. I'm gonna press circle because you can see it better. Press circle. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, what's on the floor there? Look. Gold. No. <laughs> Dang. Sometimes there is though, there is gold. Dang. Yeah, animal <laughs> animal hybridization scan. <laughs> They're making hybrid animals, hybrid dogs and shit. Why can't I take this? Bro, did you see the new Bro. Here, you'll see this animal hybridization just ahead of us. The day she finally left me, Kathy was sure I'd never amount to anything. We agreed to stay civil, not date anyone, and decide in about a month whether we'd officially get divorced. Meanwhile, my life was getting better by the second. I fully committed to comedy and was on the lookout for any opportunity for a gig. I was skimming the newspaper one day and saw something about a local amateur comedy contest. Really, I'd almost been snagging the mic at poetry nights or karaoke bars just to get on stage and almost immediately thrown out. To perfect my skill, I'd rent videos of comics to study the art. I rented these Rodney Dangerfield and Deaf Comedy Jam so many times that the video store stopped charging me. Now, I was waited, now as I waited for the final round of the contest, I was motivated as fuck. I was con- constantly jotting down jokes and ideas, coming up with new material every day. Yeah, 
Yeah, kill it, it's a Colossus. Sometimes you gotta fight these Colossi. They have Mecha Hitler. You have to fight Mecha Hitler. Giant guns up on the uh, on the there, yeah, some of the helicopters. So, like, go inside one of these helicopters. No, it's alright. Um, run upstairs. Get in the helicopter. Yeah. You can see there's guns on it. Grab one of the guns, hold square to grab it. But you know where it is now, so it, it checkpointed you, just run run straight up there, run straight up there this time. Don't waste time like running around or anything, just go straight to the gun. Shoot these guys though, shoot, I would shoot these guys just to fuck these guys off. Yeah, just make it towards the gun, just get to the gun, fuck. It's really simple though, like, it's like, just run between the guns and the fucking helicopters. It's a really simple look. I gotta do it like this. Look 
that ain't gonna see me. He left the room and he grew red like I've already thinking about how many more But you said fucked up, but then you come back for in a couple of days, eh? No, but like think about all the people that have quit smoking cigarettes because of them. And think about how many more cigarettes they would have pumped because of them. You know what I mean? Like, bro, the benefits, I think, just far outweigh the fucking consequences if you think about it like that. Like, think about how badly the country can, like, it didn't work, could have been addicted to cigarettes. Like, when was the last time you fucking smoked a cigarette? Mm. Exactly, bro. Like, see, like, bro, don't talk shit. Don't talk shit about vaping. If, like, you were a fucking pack a day or some shit before. Don't talk shit about vaping. Like, 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 don't talk Yeah, you keep that fucking, uh, that sapphire blue champion ruby, keep all that shit away from me. I don't care that you're a fucking mini blue, I don't want to fire it. Bro, I actually know so many people who have stopped smoking cigarettes because of them. My mate Rob said, like, he showed me this app called My Last Cigarette. There's this app called My Last Cigarette, and you just press the button every time you have another cigarette, and it, like, tracks from when you last did it, and you guys look 190 something days since My Last Cigarette. And it's like, yeah, you guys, I, I started vaping out and then fucking smoked again. And I was like, yeah, exactly, bro. Like, so. Like, like anyone saying, oh, oh no, I'm fucking vapes and shit, and shit. it's like, like, yeah, well, how many fucking dogs have you had recently? Because I think you've been munching out on those fucking cities, and then you come in here to talk yeah. shit about vaping. Yeah. So yeah. shut the yeah. fuck yeah. up, bro. Yeah. Just because yeah. none of us want lung cancer yeah. like you doesn't mean fucking vapes are bad, bro. Fuck off. You just love the tar in your lungs, that's what I would like. You gotta fucking just love all that thick black. Fucking tobacco tar on your fucking lungs. Do you, do you really love that tobacco so much that you fucking can't eat all your hate votes? Fucking no, they last so long and they taste good and they're not fucking, don't make your breath smell like shit. Like, oh, fuck the base, bro. But give me a fucking when you, 10 when you lose and I fucking. I think I did it, I think I already beat it slightly. Sorry, I beat it first go. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't mean to beat it in the first try, but I kind of just accidentally did. Yeah. Don't worry, you little chocolate fucker. I'll 
It's like Bono and Robert Williams. Do you know how much Bono looks like? And that Ooj is and shit as well. Hey. Giant Bono is. Can you see the robot? I'm supposed to be fighting. Why is that? Oh, 
All of them did. Look all about Sahara. Hey, I killed him. What? Oh, yeah. No, you didn't do shit. No, 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 no. No, you did not. I have to kill him. No, you didn't. Fuck you. Yes, I did. Fuck you. That's what I did. Look. Look, I beat him. Look, I took all his parts too. Oh, yummy. I need to practice my zombies. Look, I ate him. After I beat him, I ate him. I need to practice my zombies. And then we're out of here. You can play zombies in all my action. Maybe that's why I'm not. No, you should play these. Oh, <sighs> 